Get me some Laguna Beach. I need some Laguna Beach. Where is my flip phone? Where is my mixed CD? Where is my dashboard confessional? Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be doing the how I did my makeup in high school challenge. So that is why I am looking a little rough right now to say the least. I wanted to do this challenge a little bit different and I wanted to show you guys something I would have worn in high school and also how I styled my hair in high school. So I'm going to be doing all of that in this video. But I was cleaning out my closet and I found like a little nook in the back of my closet and I found this shirt in the nook in the back of my closet and this is actually a shirt that I wore in high school and I found a couple of pictures on my Facebook page from like way back in the day of me rocking this shirt. I hate myself that I still had this in my closet. That is just so ridiculous on so many damn levels. It's insane. It's a little tight, but we go, we gonna make it work and my bra keep popping out, which isn't cute, but hey, we, we gonna make it work. And I found this little floating heart necklace, so we're gonna, we're gonna pop this bad boy on too because Almost every picture I found of myself in high school, I'm wearing a floating heart necklace. High school for me was quite a long time ago, so I can't remember like exact makeup products I used. I know what I used to wear, but I can't remember exactly what the products were. I have a couple of the actual products I used, but some of them I'm just going to eyeball it and go with it. So in high school, I never actually wore foundation. I used to wear this like powder from CoverGirl. I remember it was like in the blue packaging. I want to say it was like Aqua Smoothers or something like that. But I only would like dab it on certain areas with concealer if I ever got a breakout. So I'm just gonna use, cause I can't, I can't find that CoverGirl crap that I used to use back in the day anywhere. So I'm just gonna use my concealer that I use now, and this is just the Concealer RX, and I'm just gonna dab that on some of my breakouts because plot twist, I did not develop acne until my late 20s. So I was actually lucky in high school, and I could get away with just wearing a little bit of powder because yo girl didn't have acne. But in my late 20s, now I got acne, so we got to cover up some of this crap. So we're just gonna, you know, hope for the best and set it with powder and <laughs> hopefully it doesn't look that horrendous. But let's get real, this whole video is like just meant to look bad because let's get real, who actually looked good in high school? No one. And since I can't find that Aqua Cover Girl powder that I used to use back in the day, I'm just gonna use powder I already got and just put it on with a kabuki brush because I can't find one of those cool little pad things anywhere that you just dab on your face so we're just gonna set this with powder and I also never put concealer underneath my eyes in high school so I'm gonna leave it as is with the, the big old bags underneath my eyes oh which is just so unbelievably attractive I never put concealer under my eyes in high school I don't know what the hell I was thinking so the only thing I put on my face besides the concealer and the powder was bronzer. I didn't wear blush, none of that crap, I didn't have time for any of it. Always wore shimmery bronzer and I put it all over my entire face. Not just here, no. I brushed that crap everywhere. But the one I used all the time, I think it was by the brand Bonnie Bell and it was like a little circle and it was just this loose shimmery dark powder and I used to just put that crap all over my face. Alright, well, put that shimmer all over, girl. Is any color coming up? I can't tell. There you go, there you go. Now you start getting that shimmer going and I didn't realize that, hey, you're just supposed to have that on your cheekbones. No, 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 we want it everywhere. We want it everywhere. God, I wish I could find that Bonneville shimmer one. It was even darker because this one isn't dark. Oh god, I can already see the shimmer. <laughs> I can see me shimmering in the thing, that was tragic. Any kind of shimmery eyeshadow is the only eyeshadow I would wear. So I would wear the shimmery bronzer along with the shimmery eyeshadow on my lid. But the color I always used to wear was some kind of shimmery like white. And I would only put eyeshadow on the inner corner of my eye and on the top of my lid, like right here, and that's it. We get you a little bit of white shimmer. Get you a little bit of your white shimmer and you pop that on the inner corner of your eye only. And I didn't clean up fallout. If it was glittery, I just left it there. Great Lash Mascara. Every single person's video that I've seen so far has used this mascara because this is just, this was the jam back in the day. Everybody used this. I used this and um, what was that other mascara called? It was like Maybelline Full and Soft. That was my jam also. Oh, we gonna be sitting here for a while loading this. Oh, and I didn't curl my eyelashes, cause no, I didn't curl them. If I ever did curl them, I think it was like senior year, I finally started maybe trying to curl my eyelashes and I would curl them 
after I loaded on the 17 coats of mascara and my lashes were legitimately about to snap off in the eyelash curler. Oh my god. This stuff sucks! How did I like this so much back in the day? This is, this is horrendously horrible. I always wore, always, was black eyeliner in my waterline. But um, I'm just gonna use this scandalized black hole eyeliner because, I mean, black eyeliner all looks the same, so. But you gotta get it, and you gotta get it, and like rim it all the way around your eye. Oh, we're getting sexy. We are getting sexy. Oh God, why did I put on my mascara first, Kelly? Oh, that was so stupid. Oh God. And of course, of course back in the day, never touch my eyebrows one time. Like, even before filming this video, I was just like, ooh, girl, you need to pluck your eyebrows. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the how I did my makeup in high school. I'm not even gonna touch the damn things. We're just gonna let them go all furry and needing to be plucked and not filled in. The only two lip glosses I can really remember back in the day were I always wore the um, Victoria's Secret, the little, like, multicolored beauty rush lip glosses. Uh, in every single color. I had the Beauty Rush lip glosses in every single color they came in, every scent, and they were thick and goopy and chunks of glitter, and those were my jam. But the other thing was anything from, again, Bonnie Bell, because Bonnie Bell was just like everything that I would buy in high school was Bonnie Bell and CoverGirl. But um, I found one of these Bonnie Bell lip lights, and this was actually already in my makeup collection, so Lord knows how old this actually is, but. I'm gonna put it on anyway. Oh yeah, that's that's bringing it back. Ooh, girl, it smells like. Oh yeah, we gotta layer it, layer it up, Bonneville. So in high school, I only wore my hair two ways, and the first way was just like completely pin straight, and I had a ton of choppy layers in my hair. But um, I would let it dry naturally, and then I would put water. And I would take mousse. I can't remember what mousse I used to use. I think I used to use like an herbal essence mousse and it just made my hair so chunky. The only mousse I could find was this, um, that I had, was this Oscar Blondie thickening mousse. I haven't put mousse in my hair literally since high school. Oh, this is bringing it back, ladies. This is bringing it back. Okay. So then we take the mousse. Oh, oh, mousse everywhere. Oh, Lord. And then after I would put about, you know, seven pumps of mousse in my hair, I just keep doing this. Then to finish it, the kicker, I would always take these two pieces, <laughs> these two pieces of hair in the front, and I'd brush them out, and then I would straighten them. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, gotta straighten this piece too, girl. I literally feel like I am staring at 17-year-old Kelly right now, and whoo! <laughs> This is so bad. Oh, the hair. The hair, like, I'm glad I decided to, to, to do the curly, this, I can't even consider this curly, whatever the hell this is, hair, because this is taking me back with the two pieces straightened in the front. Uh, that is it. That is how I did my makeup and my hair and, you know, something I wore in high school. But again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I need to take this shirt off. I need to burn it. No, what I need to do, I need to burn the shirt immediately. <laughs>